Najua inchi yetu pale tulitoka tangu 1960. Kila serikali, serikali ya Mheshimiwa Remo Kinyata, serikali ya Mzee Remo Moi, serikali ya Remo Mzee Kipaki, serikali ya Rafiki yangu Uru Kinyata na serikali yako sasa. Kila serikali iliwekwa uoga. Nataka nikwambie ni kuombe. Ili inchi yetu ipate maendeleo na tuende mbele. Ili tusiwe ni inji ya kuomba pesa ya kufanya maendeleo ile ratiba ya kiuchumi ambayo muweka saa hizi juzi katika bunge siku ya Jumatatu nilikutana na rafiki yangu ambaye ni mtu ya maandamano nikamuuliza rafiki kuja ki maandamano kwa nini mnafuatilia akaniambia tukikubalia huyu rais afanye atimize ile mambo anafanya in two years hata chakula itakuwa free in two years tutafata ile ma, ile barabara ya, ya ya Malaysia, Indonesia, zile nchi ambayo imeendelea. Kwa hivyo hiyo ni njia kukuweka uoga, usikubali, uko kwa the right track, endelea kudhibitisha na kufanya kazi ile mpango ambayo umefanya. Hiyo ni kwako kwa sababu ile mambo wanafanya saa hizi mzee Kinyata alikaa na uoga. Hakufanya vile ingetakana kwa sababu 1968 sisi tulipatia maende, eh, eh, loan South Korea. South Korea leo iko wapi? 1968 Lee Kwian ya Singapore wakati aliwa alikara taku wacha Malaysia alikuwa naomba alikuwa na wasiwasi ya kulipa mishara leo Singapore iko wapi sinile nji kubwa kabisa imefanywa na washujaa ambaye wamefanya decision i want to ask you usirudu yuma you have made that decision you have the support of the Kenyan people god is watching na mungu wako na wewe that is for you nyinyi pia hii ni sema mtunda yenu si mmefanya investment. Sasa jameni inawezekana mtu aoe leo kwanza atafute msichana, aoe leo, azai leo, atembee leo, inawezekana. I want to ask you to be patient with your government kwa sababu najua ultimately na hiyo kitu ndio kitu ile inawazumbua. Ultimately matunda ile maendeleo itafanywa after some few months, after year ni kitu ambayo itawafurahisha wa Kenya. Ya misho Juzi sisi tulipua mbuzi. Mheshimiwa Rais, kuna gari ya biashara ambayo iletoa mbuzi kutoka kwangu. Ilishukishwa hapa kwa barabara. Na tunajua ule mtu alishukua mbuzi yenu. Si jameni, si nini ya kila mtu afanye biashara vile anataka. Na wacha niambie siri moja. Hapo zamani za kale, si mnajua sisi tuna jirani. Jirani yetu ni nani? Si ni Somalia. Si mnajua ile shida wako nayo? Watu walicheza. Tusicheze, tuko na amani. Tukae kwa amani. Yami. Wale watu wabao wanania ingine ya kujaribu kutupitia jia madamano oo, ili waone ya kwamba wameangusha serikali yako. Tunataka kuambia tukua hapa kinamba ya kwamba hiyo ni wishful thinking. Na haitafanyika na haitafanyika. Sisi wana wakinangop kwa sababu tunauza maziwa yetu hapa chini. Na kuingine. Meaka iliopita miaka kumi, your excellency. Tuliteseka na huyo ambaye anatoa pesa yake sasa kufund madamano. Maziwa tulikuwa tunauza shiriki 19. Tangu uingie uongozi uongozini kule kwetu Kinangop watu wanatafuta ngombe kwa sababu maziwa yamepata bei. We are selling milk at 50 shillings, 45 shillings, something that not, that not, had not happened before. Ukweli si kweli jameni. That being the case your excellency. Huyu ambaye anafund madamano because we are calling him by his name. Uhuru Kenyata kubali ya kwamba rais ni William Samoei na itakuwa hivyo. Huyu Raila Odinga amejaribu sana kushikilia lakini unajua pia Raila ni conman. Yeye ni mtu wabaye anafanya biashara na siasa. Sasa pesa kuna mahali natoka amekoa mahapo. Wakati hiyo mfereji itazimwa ita, ita mimi najua tu atatulia rais usiwe na shida. Lakini Uhuru Kenyata tunakuambia Unao tesa siku ya leo ni wana wa masikini na ujue Mungu halali. Utatesa hawa wa masikini ambao unafikiria unawatesa lakini ujue pia wewe you are not immortal. Na lazima tuseme ukweli kwa sababu tulinyamazishwa sana. It is our time now to be to be truthful na tuambie ambao wanatesa hata taifa hili la Kenya ukweli. Your Excellency vijana wanaivasha jana walifanya peaceful demonstration ya kusema hawataki maandamano. Si tulifanya hivyo. Sisi tulisema hatutaki maandamano. 
Na ujue mimi nilikuwa Nairobi 1982. Raida akijaribu kupidua serikali. Vijana walikufa. Juzi ametuambia hii weekend ni ya kuomboleza wale walikufa. Ni kama ni kufurahia vijana walikufa. Ujue ukitokea ukutane na maafa, ukufe. Raida hana haja na wewe, hajui itazikwa wapi. Tafadhali tafadhali kijana usijitokeze kwa maadamano. Those who died zaidi ya kumi, they didn't have to die. So Raida you cannot tell us you are mourning those who died as if keep on the celebration. They are parents. I am talking as a leader, as a mother. Mi mistaki wewe kijana, ujitokeze kwa madamano, ndiyo upigwe risasi, ama uanguke, ukufe, kisha raila atuambie, ya kwamba, atuka kuda kiti tutafanya sasa ni kuomboleza tu, hii weekend ni ya kuomboleza, ni kwa kuomboleza. As if ni kufrahia. So please, 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 let us keep peace. Iyo sisi tulisema tangu ile farakano ilikuwa zamani tukasema we will not repeat. Naivasha will not be a black spot again. Huwezi kuambia watu waende barabara sa ile mvua imenyesha. Unawambia endeni kwa shamba. Tumuahidi his excellency rais wetu tukana yeye hapa kwa hapa na hatutaki atishwe na mtu. Hatutaki. Na hiyo majaribu majaribu ya kupindua serikali tumekuona Raira we have been there we have seen you